All right, good morning, guys. This is going to be our last ukulele lesson of the school year. So, I hope you're excited. Um, we are going to learn a new song today called Country Roads, and this is going to be the first song that we do that uses four chords. So we are going to be doing three chords that we already know. We're going to be using the C chord, the G chord, and the F chord. And then today we are going to be adding the A minor chord, okay? And it's gonna be super simple. All right, let's start by reviewing the chords that we already know. Remember that our C chord, if we look there, right? So we're gonna use that third finger right here. And we are going to put it in the third fret on that bottom string, right? So let's just give it a little strum. Sounds like that, right? All right, and then we have the F chord. And the F chord was this finger, so finger one and finger two. Finger one goes in the first fret. It goes on the second string from the bottom. And then finger number two goes in the second fret on that top string, right? And if we're looking at the chord sheet, it looks like this, right? Remember? All right. So put your fingers, one here, one here, one here, two here, right? And then let's hear it. it should sound like this. That's your F. Remember to bridge those fingers so that they don't touch any of the other strings. Then we have the G chord. Remember that G chord was that triangle position, right? We had finger number two in the second fret on the bottom string, finger number one in the second fret on the second to the top string, and then finger number three in the third fret on that second string, right? And when we look at it on the chord sheet, if we did it like a dot to dot, it would just look like a little triangle, right? All right, so let's listen. So we've got two, one, and then three, okay? See, all right, so let's listen to it. All right, does it sound the same? All right, if not, fix it. If so, let's move on. We are going to learn our new chord and it is the A minor chord. So you can tell by looking at the little chord chart here that we are going to be using the second fret, right? And this is going to use finger number two on the top string. So it's going to look like this. See where I have that red dot? It's gonna be like that. All right. If you remember our F chord, which was one, finger number one in the first fret, right? On that second bottom string. And then we had finger, finger number two in the second fret on that top string. So that's our F. When we play A minor, all we do is lift that finger. Flip finger number one up and then you have an A minor. So F, A minor, F, A minor. And when we are doing our song today, there's going to be a few chord transitions that that is all that's gonna happen is we are just gonna lift that finger. So it's gonna go from Actually, it's gonna go from A minor to F. So we're gonna put that finger down, not lift it up, but put it down. So it'll be A minor, F, A minor, F, okay? All right, so I want everybody to put finger number two, which is the middle finger, right? And we are gonna put it in fret number two, and we are gonna put it on that top string. Make sure our fingers are not touching any of the other strings, and it should sound like this. All right, this is a minor chord. So while you're listening, you might be able to kind of hear that it has a bit of a sad sound to it, right? So that's the minor chord. All right, now here's our F major. See, the, the major chord has got kind of a happy sound to it. And then we have minor. So let's try that A chord one more time. Put your finger number two 
on that top string in fret number two. And let's just strum it together. One, two, ready, strum. job. Um, also today we are going to be learning a little bit of a different strum pattern that we are going to use for the chorus of this song. We're still going to keep it pretty simple but we are going to do something a little different and play with the play with the rhythm a little bit okay. Um, so for our strum pattern it's just going to be a pattern. It's going to be down up So what I am doing is I am strumming down with strumming down with my thumb and then strumming back up with my finger, okay? Down and then up. Or if you want to use just your finger, you can use the back by your nail. You can go strum down and then strum back up. So you can do thumb, finger, thumb, finger, thumb, finger, thumb, finger. Or you can use just your finger. If you have a pick, you can also use a pick, and you'll just do All right, does that make sense? So it's down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, okay? So let me just do an example for you. Country roads take me home to the place I belong, West Virginia, Mountain Mama, take me home, country roads. All right, did you see how I did that? I'm going to demonstrate one more time. Country roads, take me home, to the place I belong. my finger and my thumb right now. All right. So I want everybody to get their ukuleles ready. This is going to start on a C chord. So I just want everybody to put your third finger in the third fret on the bottom string and let's just do that pattern together, okay? All right. So here we go. One, two, ready, and down, up, down. Down, up, down. How you doing? You getting it? Let's try it a little bit more. Ready? And down, up, down, 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 down, up, down. Got it? All right. So let's try it nice and slow. And we're going to do some chord transitions, okay? So let's start on the C. Ready, and down, up, down. Now switch to the G chord. Remember the triangle pattern. Down, up, down. Then we have our new chord, A minor. So remember the second finger in the second fret on that top string. And then the F. So switch to the F. And when we do the F, we just put that finger number one down in the first fret on that second to the bottom string, right? So we're just adding the finger. Then down, up, down. Then it goes back to the C, down, up, down, then G, down, up, down, then F, down, up, down, and C. All right, how'd you do? Let's do it nice and slow again. Let's get that pattern down. Starting on C, one, two, ready, and down, up, down, now G, down, up, down, now A minor, down, up, down, add the finger F. Down, up, down, C, down, up, down, G, down, up, down, F, down, up, down, and C, up, down. All right. If you're having trouble, I want you to stop, I want you to rewind, and I want you to try it a few more times, okay? 
If you are ready, then we are going to move on and let's just try to sing the words with it. Or, or just let me sing and you just try to follow along. That is fine too. You don't have to sing right away. Conjurals, take me home to the place. I am just going to sing the words, okay? Controls, take me home to the place I belong. West Virginia, mountain mama, take me home. Controls. All right, you got it? Let's try it like that one more time, and then we are going to try to add some other stuff to the song. Ready? And controls. Take me home to the place I belong, West Virginia, Mountain Mama. Take me home, country roads. All right. So for the rest of the song, we are going to keep it nice and simple. We are just going to do one strum on each chord, okay? Every time the chord changes, it's just going to be one strum. So it'll be... Almost heaven, West Virginia, Blue Ridge Mountains, Shenandoah River. Life is old there, older than the trees, younger than the mountains, blow blowing in the breeze. All right. So it's going to be C, almost heaven, A minor, West Virginia, G. Blue Ridge Mountains, F, Shenandoah, now C, River, C, life is old there, A minor, older than the trees, now G, younger than the mountains, F, blowing in the breeze, C, okay, try it again, and almost heaven, A minor, West Virginia, G, Blue Ridge Mountains, F, Shenandoah, C, River, C again, life is old there, A minor, older than the trees, now G, younger than the mountains, F, blowing in the C, breeze, and then we'll move into the chorus. Controls, take me home to the place. There's a little bridge portion to the song. It's got a couple other verses too, but let's just go to the bridge because that melody is going to be a little bit different, but it's going to start on an A minor. I hear a, and then it's going to go, go to G. Voice in the, then C. Morning when she calls me. Then we switch to F. The radio, then C. Reminds me of my home far a G way. A minor, driving down the road, I get a F, feeling that I C, should have been home, then G, yesterday, yesterday. All right, let's try that bridge one more time. A minor, I hear a, then G, voice in the C, morning now she calls me F. The radio, then C, reminds me of my home far a G way. And then 
an A minor. And driving down the road, I get a F. Feeling that I C. Could have been home G. Yesterday, yesterday. All right, now let's try that. I'm not going to call out the chords, but like usual, I will have the music posted so that you can kind of follow along and know what's coming up next. All right, so it starts on E minor. I hear a voice in the morning, how she calls me. The radio reminds me of my home far away. And driving down the road, I get a feeling that I should have been home yesterday. Yesterday. All right, you got it. And then it'll go back into the chorus. Country roads take me home to the place. which is just a little tag off of the chorus. So take me home, down country roads. Take me home, down country roads. And we'll just end kind of like that, okay? So that little tag is just G to C and G to C. All right, so let's try going through the whole song. I'll sing it and I'll play, and you guys can just follow along with the chords, okay? Don't feel like you have to sing. If you know the words, go ahead and sing, give it a try. But don't do it if you're not comfortable with it yet, okay? I just want you to focus on getting the chord changes before we start adding all the words, okay? And don't worry, it does take time and practice. It's not gonna be super it's easy right away. So if you're struggling, struggling a little bit, don't freak out, okay? This is just supposed to be fun. All right, let's try that whole song. I want you just to follow along with the chords. All right, here we go. Almost heaven, West Virginia, Blue Ridge Mountains, Shenandoah River. The life is old there, older than the trees, younger than the mountains, blowing in the breeze. Country roads take me home to the place. Dusty, painted on the sky, misty taste of moonshine, drop in my eye, country roads, take me home to the place I belong, West Virginia, mountain mama, take me home, country roads, I hear a voice in the morning, how she calls me. able to follow along. If not, keep on practicing. And once you get it, um, go ahead and feel free to make the song your own too. You don't have to stick with the same exact strum pattern that I'm doing. You can add, add to it. You can subtract to it to make it a little easier. Just do what you can do, okay? Um, but once you get a hold of it or get a hang of the song, you can always add more chords like in the beginning. Almost heaven. Add 
like a beat pattern and strum on the beat if you want instead of just strumming once you can just fill in and add a little more just make it your own and then when we get to the chords or the chorus I mean um, you can add a little more there as well you can add an extra beat of strumming Control. and just add a little extra to it, okay? I'm gonna kind of make it my own a little bit. And if you wanna copy or play along, you can. Um, I will have this recording posted into the links of this um, video so that you can go ahead and download it and you can play along with it if you want, okay? So that you don't have to keep pulling up this video and trying to search stuff. You can just hit play and there's the song and then you can just play the song the whole way through, okay? All right, I will stop rambling and a little intro. 